1968, Steve Sanger left his hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio for DePaul University in Indiana. There, through his love of music, he got his start in the world of business, working as a concert promoter. You had a budget, you had an arena that you had to fill, um, and you had to get an act that people would pay to see, and you had to figure out how to price the tickets. And, uh, and I learned so much from that uh, that I've applied later on. It was also a lot of fun to do that. In 1970, Sanger was recruited by General Mills but opted for Procter & Gamble. Four years later, General Mills followed up and Steve followed his desire for a fun atmosphere and his love for cereal. He was hired to market their numerous brands and by thinking out of the box, Sanger made an impression on the company as well as the students he recently addressed at Junior Achievement. One of the first things I did when I went to work was we had pink hearts, yellow mar uh, moons, orange stars, and green clovers, and lucky charms, and I added blue diamonds, you know, I decided to do that. And it started selling more, and so we said, all right. In 1995, Sanger was counting his lucky charms when he was named chairman and CEO. Since then, General Mills has more than doubled sales and earnings have tripled. During his tenure, Sanger oversaw several major moves, including the $10.5 billion acquisition of Pillsbury. You know, the Pillsbury yeah, acquisition was, uh, was a, a risk for General Mills. It was, we more than doubled the size of the company. All the employees have been blended together in one culture that's committed to their work and committed to the community, and I attribute that to Steve's leadership. General Mills became multicultural in the food business and in the workplace. He really welcomed everybody uh, to General Mills and said, I want uh, uh, to create a diverse, diverse company. We're going to make this a multicultural place. He also opened the company up uh, to women in a, in a profound way. And, and uh, he appointed uh, the first uh, female uh, general manager at, at, at General Mills. And today, over half of our uh, big businesses are run by women. Under Sanger's leadership, General Mills has been nationally recognized for having a positive workplace, leadership training, and corporate citizenship. I'm very proud of high rate of volunteerism at General Mills, but I think it's my responsibility to, 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 to be an active volunteer as well. Sanger has been, or is, a board member of many organizations. He's especially proud of being chairman of the board for the Guthrie Theater during its move downtown. It's great for the Twin Cities, and, and I was very excited to be a part of it. Leading a global corporation, Sanger has seen the world. Still, he gets goosebumps when in the presence of international dignitaries. When I was walking into the Oval Office, we bumped into uh, Nelson Mandela and, uh, and President Clinton walking out. It really is quite an experience uh, being able to meet them and talk to them. We have a special Wheaties uh, uh, edition every February to honor Black History Month. And, and so we have had people like Muhammad Ali on the package, uh, Henry Aaron and, uh, and Willie Mays. And these are people I watched as a kid. So it was particularly uh, fun for me. And one of the things that's not widely known about Steve is that he drives his son and now his daughter to school every day. And so I have great admiration for Steve and how he's lived his life consistently through his family and he's at the same time sets a great role model for all of his employees about taking care of their families as well and that's why General Mills is such a healthy place to work. Steve is not in it for Steve. Uh, Steve is in it for General Mills and Steve is in it to help you know all the people at General Mills perform their best and I, I think that uh, you know that combination of, of virtues makes for a very attractive role model.